Hello everyone, uh, this is Lord Nod and this is a special dedication to the StarCraft 2 India community and everyone back home. Guys, this is something really special. I, not many times do we have a foreigner beating a Korean, but this is the time at ESWC we had a foreigner who beat uh, not one but two, but this is a great pool. Uh, that was uh, devastated by Mana and yay, well done, that is, that's phenomenal. Yeah, thank you very much, I, I'm happy, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were really excited, you know what, we were like, oh, there's Quirtle, there's for GG, there's Stefano, and yeah. there's our friend Hawk there, and then, and this, is a, this was actually a very strong pool, right? Um, actually, there could be more uh, better players, but actually Squirtles, as you said, Stefano, uh, Sword of Dimaga Bly in um, 4G and others, actually, they were really strong. Um, so I'm a even more happy that I won. And actually, I think I have like the toughest opponents in, in my bracket, so I'm even even more now happy than I was. So yeah, I want to know about those. So uh, you saw the brackets and it came out and you were like, sheesh? Or <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. Like uh, we were at the Korean barbecue actually yesterday when I found out the bracket, I was like, shit. <laughs> first, first round Titan. Okay, maybe. Second round Zergs. Shit. Third round. Okay, Stefano. Bye bye. Okay, may maybe third place. That's possible. And then he actually happened like I won Titan, then I won Targa, then I meet Stefano. I'm like, fuck. So <laughs> saying, saying in a bad way, of course. Yeah, so, but, uh, so I win versus Stefano. I'm like, hmm, it's actually possible. Then I meet C4G in the finals. I'm really confident in my PVT. So I felt well. Why can't I win? So mm -hmm. I actually won. So yeah, yeah I like it. Yeah, yeah. woohoo! It's good, guys. Uh, but if you've not seen the streams, if you've not seen the uh, replays, they'll be available, and you can. But I wanted uh, to really talk about the games with Stefano, right? Um, because that was a really interesting game for yeah. you, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, last time I met him at Steam to the Win tournament, I played really bad there. I lost 3-0 to him, so I wanted to have a revenge after this. So uh, I think at game one I played really well versus him uh, because he didn't scout at all. He didn't do actually any damage to me so I felt really comfortable in this game and the timing worked perfectly uh, second game I was really behind from the very beginning then I felt that decision making I, I attacked him in the wrong way then I even failed into the ver my own verdict so it's even more sucks and third game I know he was explaining me to the immortal Lenin and because we were like kind of close air positions on Metropolis I made a sentry drop all in and that, that completely worked out yeah yeah well and uh, that is something which we really and to a person like me and I'm personally a Starcraft uh, big fan mm -hmm. but even more so I'm a Protoss player oh that does matter oh. <laughs> of course yeah. yeah and I was like guess who is going who I'm supporting it was always <laughs> here it was always so biased. <laughs> it was absolutely biased I have good friends in Zerg and Terran but uh, and actually when wanted to talk to you about uh, the balancing oh. uh, you know <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't get me started this is not state of the game but uh, <laughs> it started see there was a time where centuries ago Terran was OP right and mm -hmm. and then Zerg was OP but Everyone's, um, what's your view on Protoss? Has it always been one of the weaker races and we've always tried, wanted to go ahead and stand for our rights or, yeah, we've been fine, we just crypt mm. too much. Um, I mean, I'm not, not sure if I'm the right person to talk about it. I don't have that much game knowledge about the balance. I just played the game. Um, I think we we might be the, the, the weakest one. Of course, I, I will defend my race that we are weakest, so I can have an excuse if I lose. But I think overall the balance was really good. Now. If these are listening to this, investors, please nerf investors. <laughs> they die. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so sure. and now you're you're. What about the final game? Like I saw that entire uh, you're pushing together. He's you're at their ramp. Why did you pull back at that time? Like there was a time, and you did you say in your head, economy now? I'm just going to steamroll him, and or you didn't go for the. Uh, you mean the game one, right? Yeah. Um, uh, I did pull back because uh, he had the defender advantage and I didn't have any zealots or sentries uh, to force with the SCVs out, so that's that's why I pulled back. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, I scouted his first command center, so even if I lose my army now, he has he will have a better economy than me because of the free CCs and mules, so that's why I pulled back. I, I wanted to play it more safe, not to risk anything, and uh, it paid off. Yeah, well, um, so you've taken down the best foreigner uh, who was there, you've taken out uh, uh, for GG in the finals. And foreigner? Yeah, and foreign, uh, Stefano. Oh, Stefano, okay, then <laughs> all right, all right. The foreigner, which is there, but so, um, is this is this your biggest prize? I, I didn't pay attention to, is, mm. I didn't check uh, Wikipedia before this. Mm, actually, this is $20,000, and I don't know how much I get for DreamHack Summer. It might be 20000 as well. Yeah. Uh, it's 100,000 Swedish kroners for DreamHack, so it With might be kind of even, so. <laughs> Well, I don't know, it's, it's big, I like it. <laughs> Good, and uh, were you excited? What's, what's the first person? And you know, all of us gamers think, oh, I'm going to call my manager, I'm going to call... Who's the first person you call? 
I didn't call anyone yet. <laughs> I'm doing interviews all the time now, like, like eight interviews or something like this. So I'm gonna give you a phone and I'm gonna call, ask you to, who to call. Who would you call first? I, f I think my father because uh, I'm, I really appreciate my father's work because every time I go to an event, he always drives me to an airport. And it wouldn't be anything surprising if not if not the thing that is, we have like five hours drive to Berlin from our town to the airport. So he always picks me up from the airport or, or drives me to the airport. So I'm really appreciative for my father. Dude, like all the girls fell in love with you right now. I swear. Well, everyone's going to take you. Right? Here's my number. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, all the girls who said, ooh, nice boyfriend material. Right? <laughs> so good. I am so excited that you won. I am really proud that you've uh, defended the race. Go for IR. <laughs> And uh, yeah, thank you so much. Just uh, as a goodbye, just say hello to everyone in India. I know you don't know that we have a big scene. We don't have a really big scene. <laughs> but everyone who plays, we're really passionate about the game. And maybe hopefully in maybe two, three years, we'll have someone to go ahead and... Uh, maybe. Yeah. So yeah, thank you very much for the interview. Uh, and it's Namaste India. Nam Namaste India? Yeah, just hold your hands together. Okay. I'm going to hold that to you. Okay. Like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carry on. Run, Carry run, on. Run away. <laughs> like this, Namaste yeah. India. Namaste to everyone. Here you go. Hold this again. And thank you, everyone. This is Lord Nod signing off with the champion at uh, ESWC. Thank you so much.